This your city boy, OG Brian D, host of Urban Realness. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, that share notification button. I'm gonna jump right into this. What defines a snitch? This is what defines a snitch. Now say a guy rolls up in your neighborhood or somebody's breaking in a home or someone is robbing the local store. And Ms. Johnson, who's worked at the post office her entire life, or Mr. Jackson, who's been the elementary school teacher his entire life, lives in your neighborhood, and they witness this. Okay, say the guy breaking in the house. Is Ms. Johnson house and Mr. Jackson sees it? He's gonna call 911. He doesn't smoke weed, doesn't sell weed, doesn't do anything illegal, he goes to work, works from nine to five. That's not snitching. Say Ms. Johnson see Ms. Jackson's son, Mr. Jackson's son, gets shot. It doesn't matter if he's gangbanging or not. And she writes down a license plate. She's worked at the post office her entire life. She's never done nothing illegal. She watched Mr. Jackson's son grow up. It's a boy across the street from her. She calls the police, she identifies the shooter and everything. That's not snitchy. Now, if Mr. Johnson had a weed spot and Ms. Jackson had a crack spot or running checks or doing anything that the two percenters do because only 2% of the population are the criminal element. And then they told that's considered snitchy. It's not snitching when you're a civilian, when you're a regular individual. Now, people such as myself, I could never do it because I can't subscribe to that level of being a returning citizen who's a normal human being now because it's not in my DNA. And my street life and my upbringing has a lot to do with it. I was always told, don't be a tattletale. Like my, my aunt used to say, quit telling stories, boy. That's what she would say when a person was snitching. Quit telling stories. I bet y'all never heard that one. That's really old school. And my mom would always say, don't tattletale. And my father would roll up whoever was snitching. We could have burned down the house and say, who did it? Whoever told got whooped. Psycho. So a civilian cannot be a snitch. A person who's never partaken in the street life is not a snitch. Those are civilians. But a person that's in the street life, like if you and I are selling weed together, got a spot together, hitting licks with your robberies or whatever, doing anything illegal, and we get caught, and you don't assert the right to remain silent, you do the first 48 snitches, then you become a snitch. The best statement in the world is no statement. Then dudes have it misconstrued. They be saying, well, he didn't get on the stand on you. But if he gave up all information on you, that was the ammunition for the 98% conviction rate. He didn't tell on you. When they put the handcuffs on him, he started running his mouth. He didn't assert the right to remain silent. He didn't know what the best statement is, no statement. He told him this, he told him that, he told him this. So now they have the ammunition. So if I go to trial, so that's why they have a 98% conviction rate of deal takers. I gotta take a plea. I gotta get the best deal I can get, dude telling on me. And the dude to get toes on is always the first one to get sentenced. Because the guy that was that was telling on him, they save him and say, well, he, is, he assisted the government in this or he assisted the state in this and then and then he gave great assistance. And so he should get a time deduction for that. And they give it to him. So snitching is not necessarily getting on the stand going, point to him like TV does. It's sitting in those rooms. It's writing statements. It's giving statements of facts. That defines when you have a partner who's in the street life with you, that tells. That's that old saying. You know, you both ran from the police, you're hiding behind the bushes, he got caught. Come on out, bride. I saw him when they saw you. We caught, homie. How you see him when they see me? And we caught. That's a snitch. I'm just telling you, man. They used to have a cold sign in Linwood Sheriff Station when I used to go to jail in the 80s. Why do 10 when you could tell on a friend? And dudes were living up to that statement, man. So I'm just saying, man, that defines a snitch, man. Civilians aren't snitches. Megan, hmm, collegially educated not on the streets. Gunner, huh, without a doubt, he's a snitch. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Johnson, hardworking individuals, citizens, they're not snitches. They're pillars of their community. They're individuals that are there to uphold their community. They're the 98%. Only 2% of the population, man, are criminally orientated. I live in a state of 41 million people, man, state of California. We have the highest number of guys incarcerated, but we have 200,000 dudes incarcerated out of 41 million people in the state. What does that say? Do the math. On that notice, the hub and the dub, man. Two of them, baby, copy California. Y'all know what it is all the time. 